Many spawnlings may be too young to remember, but back in my day, we had a console called the Nintendo 64. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I was a Sega guy myself, but I did dabble in the old N64. Mm, well, games have come a long way since then, but every now and again I get a pang of longing for the old console games of days gone by. Oh, indeed. Retro nostalgia has been very popular of late, with many games emulating an olden days look and style of gameplay. Oh, that's right, Darren, and Warden Melody of the Undergrowth does just that. You take the role of a young soldier who is sent on a classic fantasy quest to restore the balance between humanity and nature. The game was developed by Aussie indie devs Cardboard Keep in the ACT, who were inspired by all the games of the N64 era that they love so much, and it shows. Yes, from the polygon character design, the bright colours, the slightly awkward platforming, this was a trip down memory lane. For me, it was all about the combat. Nicely challenging, relying on well-timed strikes and dodges. Yeah, the combat is great. And there's a really thorough tutorial to teach you the fighting system too, which I really appreciate. Naturally, you're taught how to fight by robots, the true combat masters. I suppose you're right, Darren. But yes, you do feel well and truly equipped to take on your foes when you head out into the world. I think what stood out the most to me were these little melodic tokens which were floating around everywhere. Yes, you need to collect them to unlock new areas of the world, which is another callback to classic N64 adventures. They also help signal which areas you've explored and which ones you haven't. Aw, oh, yeah, and the little sounds they make. In fact, sound design played a big role in those games, didn't they? And they've worked hard to create a similar feel with this game. There was just so much about Warden that sent me back to Lost Weekend, spent buried in the world of Banjo-Kazooie. Eventually, you'll be able to merge your spirit with another hero too, and she has the ability to create platforms out of vegetation in the environment. Oh, I loved that. It was such a cool device and it added so much to the platforming. Because this game is based on an old console style of game, you are better off playing it with a controller, even though it's on PC. So it's best to plug one in via USB, as the game suggests. There are some marvellous enemies to fight. Tough bosses and lots of variety in the way your foes will attack you. I love the plant-based design of the creatures. Some of them look cute, but they can be deceptive. Dodging their ranged attacks while trying to get in close enough to attack them takes some skill. But as is the case with so many retro games, don't even try to swim. You won't get very far. I guess the big question is, guys, how much can a game like this ride on nostalgia? I played a bit of N64 as a kid, but I don't have that same emotional connection to it. And I think there's probably a lot of spawnlings out there who feel the same. And one has to ask, what's the point of playing a game based on old technology and design when we have come so far since then? I do absolutely appreciate the homage to the old style, but I have to admit, I struggle to stick with it. You know, I think in this case, though, it's emulating a style of game that was so good, it's almost timeless. Games like Banjo-Kazooie and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time are still firm favourites because they were challenging and well-designed. And that still holds up. Plus, you have the added bonus of being able to play with a modern, more responsive controller, so there's a little more refinement to the experience. I absolutely agree. There's no mashing your way through this. You have to approach each fight with caution, and I like that. Also, your weapons tend to break fairly quickly, but there are always so many new ones to try. I found it enjoyable trying out lots of options. There is also a puzzle element to the way you make your way through the environment, with gates to open and hidden levers to locate. Yeah, guys, I had such a wonderful time playing Warden. The whole design of this world, the characters, the gameplay, is such a wonderful callback to some of the first games I ever played. If nostalgia for a golden era of gaming is what this dev team set out to achieve, I think they well and truly succeeded. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens. Well, there are parts of it that feel a bit dated to me, but I respect what they set out to achieve, and it's a great introduction to action adventure. So I'm giving it three out of five rubber chickens.